you know what folks? Social hunting with shotguns is something that's really starting to agree with me. And I don't think I want to spend my Friday afternoon any other way. Just the special thing about this hunt is that we're not just cleaning up a bunch of pests. We're chasing hair. Now that's an animal which I do genuinely consider to be a proper game species. I'm not suggesting that an introduced animal has absolutely no impact. I have heard recently as well about the impact on vineyards and people who farm fruit trees and the like, hares. But they're not a burrower. We're not talking about rabbit plagues here. There's not that many of them around. So we're planning on walking in a line, working a few paddock edges, spreading it out. We've already seen a few from a distance. Anyway, this is going to be a good thing. I'm excited, folks. It's going to be a good time. Brilliant. Folks, long story short, I'm absolutely stoked. Look at him. There's just good weight in that. The others have gone up the fence line again and fingers crossed to hearing a few more shots. Well, I'm very committed to cooking this animal respectfully and I'm thinking based on the inspiration of one of the other fellas here, Sichuan style. Black bean sauce was also on the uh, agenda, but Sichuan style hair. Because what we're dealing with here, folks, is a very rich red meat. It's not like the, the lighter white colored meat that you'd get from a bunny rabbit. It's, um, God, I feel like it's almost got an equivalence to beef, to be honest. Yep, there's one just in here. There, 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 up, up, up. Up, up, up. We got some meat, Alex. Yes, we did. We've almost got too much. Now, a little bit of a long time coming, but Aiden, brother, biggest cheers, man. The inaugural beast. And it might be a humble start to things, but this is a very valued game. A great experience for folks on a Friday afternoon. Folks, if I can just draw your attention to Aiden Clark's custom knives. Finest from the state of Tasmania. Hope that gets in there. But be careful, razor sharp. Aiden, it's going to be the first of many beasts, man. I just want to say the biggest cheers, maximum respect. Look at that. Grab the mid strength. I'm just astounded by the colour of it more than anything else. And it's a bit of an interesting animal, like you know, I've never really chopped hair up. Just a bit of getting used to it's just slightly different biology, but also the, the, the thing I got was that those back straps are just huge. It was like breaking down a small goat or a deer. For something a bit different, I really wanted to try just a bit of a Sichuan style of cooking. I also want to try velveting for the first time. I haven't done it before, and 
I appreciate any feedback that anyone has that done that kind of thing before with any of their game meat. Um, we're gonna get some Chinese cooking wine and bicarb soda mixed in with this and we're gonna leave it for about half an hour to an hour to let it do its job. And then we're gonna blanch it in boiling water and hopefully that'll deliver us the texture that we need to then add it into us a big stir fry. So I'll show you that now. It just goes against all of my base instincts to treat meat one way and then throw it into boiling water, but an essential part of getting the texture that we want out of this velveted hair is to quickly blanch it in boiling water and it's not spending long in there, but I'm just gonna do it piece by piece, portions like that. Anyone else out there who's familiar with Asian cooking or cooking in this kind of style and velveting meat, do you do it an alternative way? Does anyone flash fry it in a bit of oil first before adding it to their stir fries? It's all pretty new to me. I hope I don't look like too much of an amateur as I do it, but an amateur is exactly what I am. Now, cooking in Sichuan style, I've got my head around wanting to get Sichuan peppercorns in it for that key flavor. I think one thing I haven't fully appreciated is just how intense this flavor can be. What we're doing instead is using oil that's infused with Sichuan pepper. Amounts of the right flavor have been infused at a rate by folks who know a hell of a lot more than I do about this kind of thing. But the whole idea is to be restrained with those flavors. I didn't think I was, I, I didn't have my head around just how intense Sichuan peppercorns could be. Proceeding with delicious ingredients. Just keep it to red peppers, Spanish onions, shiitake mushrooms. We've got some chives I'll get from the garden outside to top it all off on top of our hair here. And we're gonna get a really good sauce happening in the stir fry as well. The wok is hot. We want it to stay hot. This is a really good quality cast iron wok. Olive oil, that's just what we have at the moment, but starting that to kick this off. Already getting a few bubbles in it. Put in a little bit of sesame oil on top of that. This is optional, but you know we've got a nice chili oil here. We're going to get to get that started in here for flavour. Aromatic in that's garlic and ginger. Nice temperature in the pan. We don't want to get too much hotter. We just wanted to get nice and consistent heat all through. Now the hair, our velveted hair. That's good, that smells really nice. Let's try and keep moving fast, keep this turning. Ah, that's a hot pan. Bit more oil. Shiitake mushrooms. Very generous amount of red pepper there. Might have got all this in a bit earlier, but you live and learn. You guys know I'm not an expert at any of this. Soy sauce. That hits the bottom of the pan there, you can smell it starting to burn off straight away. A bit more cooking wine. That's such a good flavour. Very nice smell from the wine coming up there. And that extra bit of liquid in the pan seems to have picked up a lot of the other flavours that were starting to just get a little stuck to the bottom. They've all peeled off now. That's really nice. A bit more sesame oil. Very happy with what's going on in this pan. I'm just deciding to put a little bit more chili oil in there because that'll suit our taste. This is me stuffing up. I would have added a little bit of brown sugar to this earlier on. A bit late now, whacking it in anyway. 
just reduced down in the pan a bit now. Some of that moisture has escaped from the vegetables. That plate is infused. I think we're just about done. What do you reckon, bro? Call it done. Looks great. Looks great. Yeah. Oh, that's us turning the wok off. That's going to keep a lot of heat in that wok still, though. Beautiful big cast iron wok like that. Stay cooking for a little longer. Bloody ripper. Grab a piece of that hair. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we might have f***ed that up. <laughs> no, that's f***ing great. That's the best. Oh. The texture on that hair. We've won. We've done alright. Let's eat. Enjoy, bro. Cheers, brother. It smells so right. I agree that the vegetables have, have been um, reduced. Smell, mm. all the oils, the whole thing. There was a key point in the pan where I just noticed it, that all the bulk just mm. slipped into the middle. Like that yeah. whole volume really concentrated. Relaxed. Relaxed. Yeah. That's nice. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks for joining. Well, that sun's come up. I'm not ready to go outside just yet. <laughs> Funnily enough, you might think, you know, such cold weather probably put a damper on the fishing. Not when it comes to frog feeders. I will have to find a little patch of whatever lake or lagoon I'm going to chase that's, you know, protected from the wind a bit. But, yeah, definitely high hopes for tailing fish. Column, brother. Thank you. Yes. Ooh. It's a fit fight. Oh. It's a fit fish. Not enormous, but it's fit. Oh. Oh, that's a nice brown trout. Where are you? He's got a lot of go in him. Sleek thing. Oh, you bloody ripper! That's a great fish. That's a great fish. Oh, nice. Let me get the sun behind it. Seriously beautiful Western Lakes Brown. Quite skinny.